We're at Susie's house. Susie's like my mum of England. She's my first ever PT client. And she was working with me since I was 18. And then we just became amazing friends and we stayed in touch all this time and we're now in her house. She put us up for the day. So it was one of the things I definitely wanted to do when I came back over to England on this trip was to come see her and hang out with her. She's a very special woman. There appears to be a real graffiti problem here. Is everyone trying to be like Banksy or something? Yeah, mate, so this is Stokes Cross. This is like the edgiest part of Bristol. And you'll see like there's just madness graffiti everywhere you go around this area. Bristol in itself is just such an edgy place. So like art and graffiti is just mad here. Good to be back with your partner in crime. Oh yes, definitely. When was the last Missed time? this man. When was the last time you saw Sunny Boy? Probably what, two years ago now? Three? Oh no, I think we've had a burger since then. We've not trained together in about, well, yeah, three years. He ditched me for Australia. So you would have seen a bit of a uh, change in Sonny in that period of time then. I know, he has got fat. He's been for a whirlwind with his hair, that's the thing. Mate, most requested DM, it's ridiculous. <laughs> that's because he lost it, gained it back, and people be talking. Mate. <laughs> <laughs> back, baby. Mate, this, is, this isn't <laughs> real. He flexes it every single time. What do you boys got on the agenda here? Mate, I shouldn't be pressing, because I was just like, oh yeah, I'm going to let my shoulder rest, and now I'm pressing, my shoulder's dusty as, so. We're going to keep pressing. No, I'm just going to do some like behind it press and snatch grip. Um, that's one of the things I noticed the other day when I was snatching heavy. I was a bit unstable in the catch position, my lockout was a little bit soft, so I'll use snatch sock stress to help de develop that stability and strength in the bottom position. So we're gonna do that to warm up with, and we'll do some good mornings for my favorite other accessory exercise. Fuck around with some dumbbells, um, and then I'll do a little bit of Ollie to finish off. Ooh. She's been loading us up on spragolini, fruity things the whole time. I had so many greens over the last few days, I'm gonna shit myself in a minute. Green, green, green workout. <laughs> it's like these green fruit juice. Remember when we used to go to that big juice in the market? Yeah. She's got them all at home in like every like, couple hours. She's like, have another one of them. Have I've eaten like 60 It's like 40 vegetables in a 300 ml <laughs> bottle. <laughs> have you shit last week? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, bye. Bye, bro. And, uh, yeah, fuck. Our power belly is serving you well. <laughs> yeah, nice. That's it, crucial that you know where your grip width is when you're snatching and when you're cleaning. We need to use the exact same grip position every fucking single time we're training. Right down to the fact one finger difference will make a huge impact on the outcome of the lift. So it's really important that we're specific with where our grip width is every time we're lifting. All right, Especially for you guys that probably only snatch maybe once twice a week at the very most. If you're doing one week with it two, two fingers wider than the next week, very rarely are you actually going to be getting sessions in that you're in the consistent same position, okay? It makes it very difficult for you to build a consistent movement pattern if you're not gripping in the right place. It's the simple stuff, like I said to you, that you'll get wrong in these first couple of days that will make the massive difference to your Olympic lifting, okay? Second thing for me, for a lot of you guys when you were going through the snatch bands, was trying to go fast. You just saw me do that, it's 130 kilos. I literally just put in the amount of effort that I need in order to execute that lift. I'm so much more caring a lot more about where the bar is in relation to the body than I am about speed. All right, the speed will come once you're more confident with the movement. So don't chase to be fast. It's one of the worst things in Olympic weightlifting because you go online and you watch good lifters and they move really fucking fast and you go, cool, I'm gonna go and try that. Years and years of practice.
That's what I'm talking about. How <laughs> much of a PB was that, brother? 110, so two and a half PB. Nice, <laughs> good. Was there a couple of cues that changed yeah, the way you massive. did that? Catch tool and just drive straight out the hole. How are you finding the seminar so far? So far, really fucking good. Like everyone's hitting PBs left right center. That's what you want, eh? You can't keep yourself out of it, can you, mate? Hey, it's time to fucking send it. I walked in here and I was like, I ain't gonna li lift today, I'm just gonna coach. And then the fucking vibe in here, I was just like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Put your hand up if you got a PB of any sort today. That's what I'm fucking talking about. Alright? <laughs> Absolutely awesome job. Ten years ago, yeah. when I was 12, Sonny taught me for a few years and I used to compete. Um, what did I win? British schools. British Masters? schools when you were 13 years old, didn't we? So, so back to it now. No excuse. A bit of a track record in the British in the uh, British history books yeah, of you too, are you? What, yeah, well, I won the Bruce Masters, Masters three times. Oh, you did weightlifting as well. Yeah, I came fifth in the Europeans. Oh yeah. As well. Have a little swing. And all, all the credit goes to Sunny, I assume. Of course, yeah. Talk about the best. So, uh, number four in the bank. We're just over halfway. How hey, you feeling, brother? That was an absolute killer. Like. Really good crew come up to this one. People from like four hours away drove down to it, but you could tell that like, everyone in here was super into their way of being keen. So it was really nice to take it on kind of a different level today and like kind of hit some different points I haven't been talking about in the other seminars. And there's something that I always like to do when I'm coaching people. It's kind of really speaking to the level that they want me to talk to, um, because not everyone learns at the, at the same stage. Some people come here and they just want me to scream, send it at them, and they want to hit PB. But today it was like a lot of coaches that have come down here to invest in themselves and their own development. So for me today, it was really about teaching them the why behind things as well, rather than just telling them what to do. Mm. Um, so that was really nice for me as well to be challenged to that point where I have to think about the why again, rather than just knowing the answers. So yeah, loved it, it's a and sick one. Talk me through that 140, I don't think we came in here with the intentions of hitting that. No, that was a 140 snatch, hang snatch, snatch pants over his squat, something like that. Like, yeah, I, you know the other day when I was snatching, I was telling you that I wasn't setting my knees out. Today, that was one thing that I really worked on, creating that tension in the set position, and it felt fucking easy. I probably would snatch 150, but like I said to you before, there's nothing better than leaving a training session knowing like you had more in the tank.